If you're looking for a growth stock at a really compelling value, I have a great pick for you. Shares of Top Golf Callaway are a steal today, and this is a stock that I just added to my portfolio for the first time, and I'm looking to add more if the price gets a little bit more attractive. Today, I want to get into why I like this business and why I think there's a lot of value here for investors. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. First off, if you're not familiar with Topgolf Callaway, this is a company that makes golf clubs. That's the, the namesake of the Callaway brand, apparel. They have a number of apparel brands underneath Callaway and then owns the entertainment franchise Topgolf. They merged together in, in 2020 to create this kind of giant golf branding company. But Top, Top Golf is really the piece of the business that I think is exciting. It ha, it's a growing business. It's in a highly valuable entertainment segment right now. And there's a lot of demand for this kind of unique experiential entertainment and food experience, particularly as businesses start to go out again and have corporate parties. So as good as the financials look right now, I think they're going to get better over time. Let's look at a couple of metrics here. Now, Topgolf Callaway has a $3.2 billion market cap. In 2021, the company generated $448 million of adjusted EBITDA. So that's a proxy for cash flow, particularly from these assets that are really expensive to build. So you want to see what is the cash flow when you pull out non-cash expenses like amortization or depreciation. So $448 million. Management thinks that can grow 15 to 18% on a compound basis to over $800 million dollars by 2025. To put that into perspective, the stock has a value of only about three times what they're projecting for 2025 adjusted EBITDA. That's a really good valuation for any business. On the top golf side of things, the company expects to end this year with 81 venues. And they say that the cash on cash return, so basically the cash that they're getting out of the business based on divided by the cash that is invested to build the facility, is about 40 to 50%. Now they're leasing a lot of these facilities from REITs who are actually doing the construction. But if you're getting 40 to 50% return on every property that you build, that's a really, really nice business. And that's after paying lease expenses. So really attractive business. And I don't see any of that slowing down anytime soon. Topgolf is the venue that people go to and are probably familiar with, but there's technology that goes into the Topgolf venue that is then put into other properties as well. So the top tracer is, is that tracer that you see if you watch golf on TV, that this is a company that provides that technology and similar technology is available at driving ranges all over the world. So this is something that can actually scale in a really interesting way. They're also developing virtual reality games. So this is more of a technology business in golf than I think a lot of people realize. Top Golf is the name. It's kind of the foundation. It's where the money comes from. But then they're taking some of that money and investing in really interesting growth opportunities. So that's what I like here is you have a really strong core in Top Golf and then a name like Callaway in equipment and golf branding. And then you have these opportunities to grow in sort of this next generation. Maybe people aren't going out and playing 18 holes over four or five hours, 10 or 15 years from now. But maybe they do want to play a digital version of golf, and this is the kind of company that can develop that more than any other brand in golf. Management expects nearly $4 billion in revenue for fiscal 2022. That's a really great number. And then $555 to $565 million in adjusted EBITDA, EBITDA margin of 14.1%, which is a really healthy margin for a business like this. I just think this is a really good valuation for a company that's very steady. Top Golf has proven to be a really good brand in that entertainment space. And I think it can continue to grow. So good value there and a lot of optionality going forward with the technology piece that I talked about. Top Tracer is an interesting product. They're using it in their own facilities. That's kind of like their test case. And then they're building these digital tools as well. Maybe virtual reality isn't something that is a meaningful piece of the business for five to 10 years. But in the meantime, we have a great core business that is profitable on its own. So that's why I like this stock. That's why I added it to my portfolio. Let's see what the next couple of quarters look like. See if spending on entertainment slows down if we hit some sort of recession. But I think there is enough slack there in the business. Even if demand slows down a little bit, this is going to still be a pretty profitable business. So what do you think about Top Golf Callaway? Is this a stock you've ever looked at? And are you intrigued now? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Give this video a like. It really helps people find the video in this channel. And of course, subscribe to The Ride Project. I'll be here with more interesting investment opportunities like Top Golf Callaway. 
Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next time.